urban flooding in northeast Portland. Some businesses had to close down. We had some real downpours in that section of the city, along with lightning tonight. Yeah, a really active evening. About 6 o'clock when we were on air, we started seeing those really heavy showers coming right through downtown Portland. And as a result, that's when we saw the majority of our rainfall for the entire day. Uh, we also broke a record, which we're going to talk about here in just a second. Right now, Portland, 56 degrees, dew point 54 might run into some areas of fog out there this evening. Wind out of the east at just three miles per hour. Sunrise time tomorrow morning, 645. Now let's look at some of those totals so far. Uh, noticing at PDX, this was the winner for the most rainfall, at least in this immediate area, 82 hundredths of an inch. So almost nine tenths of an inch, almost an inch of rain in an entire day. So we definitely surpassed the last record, which was set in 1985, and that was just two tenths of an inch. So we got most of that in the afternoon and late evening hours. Now we're starting to kind of dry out. Troutdale picked up almost three tenths of an inch and McMinnville, McMinnville between about 2.30 and 3.30 this afternoon, they picked up a half inch of rain in just that hour period. So depending on where you were today, you either saw a lot of rain or you saw almost nothing at all. As we can see right now on Doppler radar, very light showers encompassing Vancouver across the river over to Portland, Beaverton and Tigard barely noticeable on the windshield kind of rain. This is a loop of the last four hours. This area of low pressure, the center of it still sitting offshore, spinning around that we have moisture and we had a lot of instability today. Why? Well, with the daytime heating, we have the ground heating up and the air rising. But on top of that layer in the upper levels of the atmosphere, really cold air moving through. We were talking really the last couple of days about freezing levels being down to about 7,000 feet. Pretty low for us at this point in September. So cold air sitting on top of us, a lot of instability. Most of that will be kind of settling in as we get to tomorrow. So taking a look at that long term forecast. Here we go with Thursday. Thursday, for a good chunk of the day, you'll see partly cloudy skies. And then on our way back to more showers for the late afternoon, early evening hours. And then a break early Friday morning. And really, here we go Friday about 5 30 in the afternoon. South of Portland, you'll see partly cloudy skies all the way out to eastern Oregon. But if you're going to be north of Portland all the way up through Seattle, you can count on the rain Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now here's Saturday about five o'clock in the afternoon. Noticing again south of Portland, this is our dry space, at least at this point in the forecast. This is the trend that we're seeing all the way through Sunday, Sunday morning, about seven o'clock in the morning. Most areas basically from Hood River all the way down to Corvallis and Eugene. We'll see a few sprinkles, if nothing else, for you Sunday morning and lasting most of the day Sunday, finally getting a break by late Sunday night and then on our way to a warmer and drier trend. How much rain could we see? Well, as we're not expecting much more in terms of thunderstorms, we could pick up an additional eight tenths of an inch between now and Sunday evening at PDX. Here's your seven day forecast. So we'll continue with the trend of the 60s for our daytime highs. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we jump into the low 70s with more sunshine so we can finally dry out. Yeah, a few days more to get through this and then next week don't look too bad.